So when we are suffering, it's only natural and normal to want to put an end to that suffering, you know, maybe change painful emotions, quiet down uh, pain, change painful thoughts. Acceptance and commitment therapy act actually looks at it from another side. Act says what is most important to us humans is to do what's important to us in life, to do those actions that actually allow us to move towards who and what is important to us. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but a recent study is actually giving support to the ACT model. It's put, it's actually evidenced the fact that when you increase those actions that move you towards who and what is important to you, even in the presence of painful thoughts and emotions, then the result of that over time is that your suffering will reduce. But conversely, if you actually first reduce your suffering, your difficult th thoughts and emotions, your actions to move towards when what is important to you will not increase, so your life will not get better. So that's really interesting because it means that rather than try and reduce your suffering, which is the natural thing to do, it would pay much more to try and increase the actions you do to move towards who and why is important to you by learning how to receive your negative thoughts and painful emotions in a more kind and flexible way and so that you can do those actions that will move you towards who and why is important. And as an added bonus, if you like, your suffering will reduce, but the most important thing is that you get a life that is rich in meaning and rich in vitality, and this is what ACT can bring to your life. Thank you.